What's up guys? It's Jensen back with another video. So today we are doing a January favorite. I'm super excited to do this for you guys because I do want to show you guys what I've been loving this month. If you guys want to see what I have been loving this month, keep on watching. So I don't have too many items just because I do want to keep it kind of to a minimum so i'm gonna first start off with skincare so the first thing that i love this month is the glam glow it's the matte glow moisturizer and it just looks like this and i am in love with it it smells amazing it is so moisturizing i put this on every night before i go to bed i usually don't use it before I do my makeup just because this is super expensive so I only do it at night after I wash my face and all that so this one's matte because I am oily so it works the best for me and then I also have been loving the sugar bear hair vitamins and I just ran out like oh I have to go get more ASAP because I didn't want to miss a day but I didn't realize that I was that low but yeah these are super great i feel like a kardashian right now because i'm like yeah get these whatever they taste so good i know that they have different ones or different kinds that help different things but i definitely need the like hair one because my hair is very thin and like dead and then two little fashion pieces that i have one is my louis vuitton keychain which if you guys did not see my drive with me video it will be linked below so you guys can go check that out because i talked about how i literally spent 200 and like 20 dollars or something like that on this little key pouch but i never put it in a video but i am absolutely upset i feel like it just like makes my keys look so cute like hello so that is one thing that i've been loving it is great last little fashion whatever item before makeup my favorite part is these slippers they're the ugg slippers these are like newer to ugg's website decided to include these in my january because i do i've had these for around two or three months because they're so cute i've worn these out um and they don't get dirty because the sole is like a little up so it doesn't like get the fur dirty it's really nice the platform is super hard to walk in at first like i literally tripped the first time i wore them but they are so comfortable and like if you want to look like a bum and go out one day in these i have so you should too but i absolutely love these i think these are so comfortable and great now for makeup i'm going to kind of go in order to how i put my makeup on so i'm going to just do some of my favorites that i've been loving lately and then that's basically it so the first thing is the tatcha silk canvas okay there it goes um, I have one little thing in it, but I actually like rubbing my fingers in it like this. So that's why it kind of still looks like I have a lot left because I like to rub. I did dig only once in there with the little spatula it comes with because I was new to trying it and I didn't know which way to really apply it. This stuff really smooths your pores like, wouldn't say like 100%, but but it is super great and i highly recommend it it is very pricey i think i've said that in my videos before but it is super moisturizing super smooth it isn't sticky it's great and i am obsessed with it and i love it and i highly recommend it the next three items are from makeup revolution i have used these in a lot of my videos the first thing that i love mixing in with my foundation are these makeup revolution liquid highlighter drops these are so good i'm obsessed with these this is the champagne color and i will kind of swatch this and show you guys so this is what it looks like and then when you rub it in it is so pretty, like, so pretty. And when you mix it with a foundation, they do have, obviously, lighter and darker shades. But, yeah, this is super great, super comparable to the Cover FX um, liquid highlighter drops, but way cheaper. So, the next thing is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I use this in every single one of my videos. It is amazing. It is affordable. It is so good. I have it on right now and I'm obsessed with it. I have been using this for about two months now and I 
am in love. The next thing that I've been recently trying um, for the past like three weeks, I want to say, is the jelly highlighter, the color Prestigious, and it's the rose gold one. And this a little bit goes a very long way. So I'm going to get a little bit. This is, like I said, the jelly highlighter. I don't want to get too much. This is what it looks like on the finger. And then I'm going to swatch it on my wrist because I do have so many highlight products on. This is great. I'm obsessed with it. And you can totally wear it alone. I usually like to put a powder highlighter over it to kind of set it. But if you are more of the type to go for a glowy look and you don't like powder and you don't like all that, this is perfect for you. So what I usually top that uh, jelly highlighter with is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost. This is in Siberian Gold and this is the prettiest highlighter. Um, I'm obviously gonna swatch for you guys. It is so pretty. My swatches are horrible. I do have it on today, but this is the swatch of it. I don't know, it's not very good. Um, because I don't know how to swatch you guys, but this is what it looks like on my skin. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And now for palettes, I have three and I've been absolutely obsessed with these three all month. <laughs> the first one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Um, I got this one for Christmas and it is gorgeous. I have it on my eyes today and this is what it looks like. It is so freaking gorgeous. I have this glitter shade on my eyes today. I absolutely love this palette. It is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. The glitters are magnificent. If any of you guys have ever tried Anastasia's eyeshadows, they do have a lot of kickback. The glitters don't as much as the matte shades. The matte shades do have a lot. If you guys have a problem with that, then this wouldn't be a good palette for you. But if you don't care, which I do not at all, um, this palette is great. I'll swatch the uh, shimmers for you guys because they are beautiful. So freaking pretty. Like, you don't even have to spray your brush with these. I didn't spray my brush for um, the eyeshadow that I used. I'm also gonna swatch some of the mattes so you guys can kind of see. So here are some of the mattes. They are super pigmented. Um, I've never swatched these, so I don't know how they'll look. This is what the mattes look like. Obviously, though, they would be more pigmented. You can see that I still have some on my fingers, but I just didn't have enough room to like spread it all the way across my hand. But this is what some of the mattes look like. They are super pigmented and they're very easy to blend. So that's um, a big thumbs up for me. Next palette is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette. Um, right now, this is out of stock. I will still link the palette below and you guys can check back but look how beautiful this is the yellow beautiful i have used this blue in a video before and as well as the yellow actually so if you guys want to see that i will put that down below but the mattes are so pigmented i'll swatch some of these like look at those they're beautiful i didn't really do good swatches but on the eye beautiful the reason i love his new glitter formula is they are not chunky they aren't hard to work with they're beautiful i'll swatch those they're honestly pretty freaking creamy um i will say that the silver is the most creamy the gold one is a little bit more um chunky um the gold and the rose gold but I mean, what are you gonna do? But look at this payoff, hello? Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? So pretty, so pretty. And the last eyeshadow palette that I have used almost every day for the past two weeks is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. This is what it looks like, the most beautiful palette, the best red colors I've ever seen. Look at this purple. I have not used this yet. I have not swatched it. So you guys will get my reaction right now. Obviously, I knew it was going to be pigmented, but like <laughs> this pink, hello, the shimmers, beautiful. 
like, oh my gosh. Let's do this red so you guys can really see the red. Oh mm, my gosh, candy floss is so pretty for the inner corners. I use that color all the time. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So pretty, so easy to work with. I'm obsessed with this palette. My favorite by far of any palettes that I have ever. <laughs> now, the last thing is lips. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Jeffree Star Lip Scrubs. This is in Watermelon Gum. It is the best smelling, best tasting, best lip scrub I have ever used. I have used Lush, I've used Walmart brand, I have used Target brand, all these different kinds that Target and Walmart and everybody sells. This is the best, it is the biggest. This is $12 and let's see how many ounces this is. Hold the phone. 30 grams, one ounce. This is so good that he has so many flavors. Um, this is the one I could get my hands on at the moment because the one I want is sold out, but so good, so happy with this purchase. I'm obsessed. Now for lip stick or liquid lips, lip glosses, all that good stuff. The first one is the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K, which I have on my lips right now. I'll swatch that for you guys. So this is Candy K. So pretty, such a good nude, like it's gorgeous. And then the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lip in Christmas Cookie. These are very similar in color, like almost the exact same, but they perform way different. If you can see, they're basically the exact same color, but the Kylie one is a little bit more drying. The Jeffree one is a little bit more moisturizing, um, but I love these two the exact same. Um, yeah, I am obsessed. Now for lip glosses, I have two. I have the MAC Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches. It's this gorgeous pink shimmer, and I will swatch that. Basically clear gloss with a pink undertone and blue purple glitters. Let me show you. Look how gorgeous that is. And it would be so pretty over top of this. I didn't even realize that. Then the next gloss and the last item of my favorites video is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss. This is the Balm Gloss in Fenty Glow. And smells great. This is it. And it makes your lips look so pretty. Like, I can't, y'all. So that was all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace.